Oh. Yo, stream. <laughs> hey. Oh, day. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Come on, everyone has to sing it. Ine, chala, head chala. Hey, hey, hey. Gamba, chala, head chala. Oh, two gas. All right, stream. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're going to be continuing the story today. Going to be continuing this. We just beat um, Prince Vegeta, and now we are going to be going to Planet Namek. Yeah, sorry, recap. After a harrowing battle, Goku and his allies managed to beat Vegeta, but the remaining defenders of Earth mourn the high cost of the victory. But Krillin finds some hope in basically um, in the form of a um, Krillin fight. Krillin fight. Oh, I can't spot. I can't speak today. Krillin found hope in the form of a um, Got Planet Namek. Right now, where's Kame House? Yeah, we'll carry on. But Krillin finds a ray of hope in a conversation he overheard in the Saiyans, which is basically Piccolo's home planet where they had Dragon Balls so we could wish everyone back. But the thing is, Vegeta will probably be headed there too, so we have to deal with him. Alright. Huh? I'm underwater. Oh, that's sick. What has happened? Since I first came here. Yo, Wagwan Master Roshi. Hi, Master Roshi. Well, if it isn't little Gohan, you're looking fit as a fiddle. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're out looking for someone. Someone? Yes, Launch. She's the young woman that used to live here. No one's heard from her in quite some time now. I am the Launch from the original Dragon Ball. Ball. But I was starting to worry she might <clears throat> have gotten herself mixed up in the fight against the Saiyans. So I asked Krillin and the others to go out looking for her in the area where the fight took place. But Did something happen? Possibly. I just saw a young woman that looks a lot like Launch on a news report from West City. Right, so we're going to be going to I'm West City then. I'm Krillin and the others to get back, so I can tell them to head there next. Oh, well, I can go there if you like. Yeah, that's it. Really? That'd be great. You can't miss her. She's got full-bodied curly blue hair. A real beauty. Her outfit you mean Bulma. leaves little to the imagination. I can still picture her tank top, shorts, her curves. <laughs> Just thinking about her is getting me all riled up. Oh. Ahem, what else? Oh, yes, her personality. She's a very calm, sweet person. Calm and sweet. Okay, I'm off to find her. Right, well, let's go find Lodge. <sighs> E cara, o to e tal, e tal, e tal. Chala, e chala. Oh, that song's too gas, man. Gets me all fired up to play this game every single time I sing it. Right. Look for launch. Right, let's go over this direction then. Oh, <laughs> bless me. <laughs> oh, bless me again. Gonna have a cold. Not COVID 19, hopefully not. Ha! 
Let's go! Oh, is that Goku? Goku! Oh, wait, no, it is. Please, don't do this! Oh, is that launch there? Hmm, let's see. Blue hair, same outfit that Master Roshi described. That's probably launch. Looks like she's arguing with some people. Okay. You punks are messing with the wrong girl here. I said fork it over, so fork it over! You hear me? Well, it's just... What's going on? Guess I'm just gonna have to pump you rats full of lead then. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. Launch is in trouble! Stop! Go on, go hard. Right, let's easily beat these guys. Oh, the level 18! Masenko. Oh my god. Ah! Oh god, oh god, I'm not ready for this. I'm not warmed up yet. Right, so yeah, L2 to block. Right, let's do body impact. Alright. POP! Damn it. Mitty Sledge. POP! Senko. You absolute donut. Masenko. Dodge! But Right, got him. Crap. You absolute doorknob. Oh! Bop! Beat a fudge. Bop. You absolute door up, man. It's like dodge. Right, do I have any? No, I don't. Right, I don't have any healing items. Got him. Oh god, that was well close. I didn't realise how powerful those robots were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be like just like may level eight or something. Are you alright? Oh okay. Who the hell are you? You're pretty tough for a pint-sized punk. You kinda sorta remind me of Goku. No way, that's launch. Wait, how do you know my dad? Huh? You're Goku's kid? What, what the hell are you doing here? These bozos stole my map, and I'm trying to get it back. What? D did you really? Um, uh, well... All right, that's it. Keep this dumb act up. Uh, I I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't thinking. W wait, so you're not lunch? What? Jeez. I'm launch. Oh my god. <laughs> Master Rush, you idiot. What? But I was told she has blue hair. It's complicated, kid. Now shut the hell up and give me the stupid map. Y yeah. Um, d do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me? No. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> exactly. I'm myself. 
Right, brilliant. So I'm an absolute <laughs> idiot. But whatever. At least I got my map back. <laughs> Sorry for butting in like that. Whatever. I'm over it. As long as I got this map, I could finally figure out where he lives. Let me guess, TN. He keeps jumping all over the place for his training. I've been chasing nothing but rumors till now. Uh, oh, I see. Now this time, I'm gonna make sure he falls in love with me. Let me Hold guess, it's TN. Tight, buddy, I'm coming for you. Wait, can she fly? Well, there she goes. She just disappeared. Head back and let Master Roshi know what happened. Yeah, and tell him he's a massive dummy. Right. So I need to... Uh, let's have a look at party. You fuck off. Alright, I need to fight um, Frieza first. Wait, where's... Right, I need to figure out how to add those, um, <clears throat> thingy things, what they're called. The things that let you heal mid-battle, because I got destroyed there and I'm on really low health. Ain't got a udo. You know what, I'm gonna, um, get some food from Chi Chi first, because that's what I probably need to do to, um, what's it called, to heal. I don't, I don't know if it does let you actually heal, but yeah, we'll do that first before we go to Master Roshi. Right, where's Mount Pauzu? Yamcha's hideout, Lac Lacto Village. I've completely forgot where Chi Chi's house is. Not Lacto Village. Goku's house, there we go. Mount Pauzu. In Garu Oto. In the Tao Way. I fly away. In the Tao Uko. Me Taku Zero Day. I'm just saying random things at this point. Right. I don't know if we need to go to Chi Chi for food because if we can't, then obviously we need to fish for it, but. Yeah, let's go to Chi Chi. We'll go to Chi Chi first and then we'll find out where we need to fish. Chi Chi, I need some food! Make a dish. Right. How do I eat now? Wait, what? Wait, how do I eat it? Wait, how do you eat it again? I... Do what you can. Make a dish. Oh, it takes three minutes. Right, how do I eat it again? Do what you can. Do what you can. Make a full cost meal. Oh. Yes, it does give us HP. How do we eat it? Oh, items. Right, we need to go to items. There.
I've I healed then. I haven't healed. Eh? Have I healed now then? There we go. Right. That took that didn't take a while. Right, now let's report back to Master Roshi. I do wish that you could um just fly to fly across the map and that. Like in if they ever make another remake like this, they should just make like you could fly across the entire map, you could go to Kame House, you could go everywhere and basically it just shows the map like this. I hope there's someone to lit a fight over here. I think I can handle this. Oh wait, what? I beat him! <laughs> I beat him just by flying into him! Oh, that's sick. Right, let's go back to Master Roshi. Um, I found Launch, but she ran off somewhere. Probably found TN. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? What? Wait, but... Oh, he sent me out to find Launch. What? Oh, you must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. What? Goku's son, right? It's I am confused. My name's Launch. You're Launch? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. The what? People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. Oh. And my hair turns blonde, I guess. So well, she has a personality, personality change changes. whenever she sneezes. Hard to believe, right? I think it might be some sort of condition I have. Go see Bulma, make a cure. Be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. That's what I forgot to tell you earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really hope the other me didn't cause you too much trouble. She can be a bit harsh sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no oh, shit. No. I'm just surprised to see you here, since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. When Tien. I came to, I was near West City, and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. Uh, I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? I just so cooked! I'm to try out a few recipes for a while now. I just cooked a meal. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. So, okay. Right, so we have a personality changing woman. Gohan enjoyed the launch his delicious meal. Right, can we change that? Can we... Um, Right. Right, let's train. Learn Masenko rid of free. Right, so I need to do this first. An absolute donut. Get taken down, lad. Come on, move! <laughs> Still Krillin. I can't be by with fighting so many guys. Crap. Move, Gohan! Jesus Christ!
killing me the second I do him a second car. That's what I would do with McCrillin. Keep forgetting how to power up. There we go. Right now let's go back to Chi Chi's house, or Goku's house, and to Mount Pauzu. After the harrowing battle, Goku and his allies managed to defeat victory to the remaining defenders of Earth, mourn the high cost of the victory, but Krillin sees a ray of hope in a conversation he overheard between the Saiyans and a Namekian Piccolo. Why is Krillin here? Yeah. Alright. I guess uh, after we like finish with Chi Chi. It's kind of late right now. Wagwan, Chi Chi. That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. No. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Oh no! Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. Where's Goku? Oh yeah, he's in, he's in intensive healthcare. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Oh! Why is Goku glowing? Evil Emperor Free, Evil Emperor Free, so I guess that's going to be the villain of this arc. So we've started a new arc, which is probably like something like the Planet Namek arc or something. Yeah, because we're coming yeah. along, idiot. Got some time. Do you think you could meet me here at Capsule? Oh, fuck. <laughs> sure, I'll be there soon. You know, I'd love living in the Dragon World. Make mates with Goku, train with him, learn how to master key. It was sick.
First, I'll probably go Maybe train with Master Roshi. Be the spaceships ready for takeoff. Is it? You wanted to talk to me specifically. I'm not sure I'll be of much help though. Yeah, you were. You're coming along. Oops. I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't want to do the side missions yet. Wait, I, where are we meant to go? What, we're meant to go to West City. Goku severely wounded from his bout with Vegeta. Meanwhile, in recovery. Meanwhile, Gohan and the company set course for Planet, planet Namek, eager to retrieve the back Dragon Balls and bring their friends back to life. Look at the background. <laughs> Bless me. No! Boom! Get over how huge Boma's place is. Really? Oh. Just the person I was looking for. Huh? What's up, Boma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? Yep. I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh! Oh! Ask Boma. Krillin! <laughs> He's Goku useless in enough. Hospital, practically mummified in bandages. You're the only one left for the job. Krillin. Oh, no problem, Boma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. Better not be something. Oh, fuck. Think you can handle? Oh, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> right, where am I meant to find it? Right. No. I'm pretty sure at one point Goku learns how to drive a car. No, I'm not. I'm too busy. Oh, I'm getting onions. Just like. Oh, I can fish. Safe. Right, let's fish. Come on, lad, come over here. Yes! Shit. Bah. Bah. Give me that fish. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, safe, we've got fish. Yay! I caught one! Yay! I caught one! Shut up. Wait, should we go to the red ones over there? Got it. Shit. Oh my fuck.
No. Right, now can I get back to what I wanted to get? Oh, so, right, so I need to get the things in purple. Crap, they're not purple. I will just start running around. Should be around there somewhere. Oh. Got it. Is that it? Oh, for. Oh. There we go. Now can I get the thing I wanted? What's up here? Don't you dare come near me. Got it. Oh! The You're dead, fam. Right, can I get it now? Yay! Oh, it's over here somewhere. Oh my god, nah, I'm actually done. I'm actually so done. You're dead. You're all dead, fam. You dare try to fight me.
Yo, Wagwan, that's your robot. Not that speedy. <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thank God. I want to continue with a story. <laughs> right, so I forgot Bulma now. I could add launch. Goku said really, oh yeah, bro, I just read that. I think we're about half an hour into the stream and we haven't even gotten on a main mission yet. The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. Right! All right, I'm ready to launch. <laughs> Let's go. So, you all set for the trip? Okay. I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. Oh, but the... <laughs> continue to stop. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. Right. Please help me this story just continues. I really don't want to fly all the way over to Krillin. Level up! Yay! Let's have some crisps. Right. Guys, for this next cutscene, I'm going to mute my mic. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone is gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, go on? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Write me every day, Gohan! Alright, time for takeoff! Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for Planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Nemec in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place kind of reminds me...
reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball. You're right. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. All right. We found we one. Found we one. found one. Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding. It's massive, and it feels crazy strong. And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. It's a sand spaceship! I knew it! Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. He yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza! Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Uh, right. Two months. Hmm? What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. Wonder who it is. We found it, Lord Frieza. Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I'll make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. We should be on his way to right, so Vegeta. Vegeta used to work for Frieza then. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. A lot of cutscenes, isn't there? Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. Alright, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look, 
What the hell is that? <coughs> what? <gasps> Those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! <coughs> I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Wait, so the small one has a deep voice. Sounds good to me! No! No! Starship! <laughs> Alright, kill him. Sucks Come on, let the control go ahead and kill him. Wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Right. Just like the city back on Earth. Solar flare. the strike. Bah! There we go. Easy. Easy fam. Hey! Nice going, Gohan! Nice going? There's nothing nice about this! You know, there's elements of the game that are better. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. Only 1,500? Right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. You hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? Yeah, and not being for the Queen, but you can't beat Vegeta. Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. And take a look You'll at yours. My power level is leagues above yours. Only because he's holding back. <laughs> oh, no point waiting for his attack. I might as well just hunt him down. Hmm. Well, now. That's Freezer's ship. <laughs> hmm. It's really my lucky day. Not only do I get to rip Quee from limb to limb, but I get to grab Freezer's ship. Oh, sick! We're playing Vegeta! Hell yeah. Can we go up and actually like, destroy shit? Low on energy. 
Alright, let's beat Quee. <laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. Oh, really? Don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? <laughs> like how to control my power level. <laughs> oh God. Now no check. Way. 19, 20, 21, 22,000. <laughs> oh my God, 22,000. I mean, it's nowhere near freezes first form that's around like 50,000 or 100,000 oh, this must be some sort of error but I set my scout at Vegeta's coordinate and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000 22,000 that's an older model scouter isn't it here I'll get a more accurate reading with mine impossible it can't be is my scouter broken but it's a newer model the readings up to 24,000 <laughs> are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now <laughs> yes Vegeta <laughs> oh so we're gonna be fighting Kui oh my god Wait, Galagun! Oh my god, that is sick! Body smash! Pa! Body smash! Pa! Nah. I alright, see a language. Damn it. Exactly, pipe down, Quee. Useless. Useless piece of pathetic trash. You're not going anywhere. Oh my god. Guess our rival was dead. <laughs> oh no. no, no, no. Reading. It mm -hmm. was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Quee. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget. Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza! The scouter shows there are about 10 Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. Yes, we have Vegeta's card now. Dragon Balls. Get back to Earth now. Dragon Balls. Bulma? Let's let's at least get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe 
in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. Right, so we'll play this Gohan now. You can no longer fly or fly. Um, you look really strong. Hey, this hole over here, it looks like it'll do the trick. to stay in a creepy place like that for as long as we have to huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there uh, yeah I do but it's not like the others from before this time it might be Namekian huh hide There's some strange energy headed this way what are you doing, Boma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? Hide, you thicko! It's them! Uh, they... They left! Who were they? Bulma, do me a favor and check the dragon radar, please. You said four of the dragon balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah, that explains it. They have the four dragon balls. Five, no. That's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Yeah, their power was incredible. Whoa, that small guy, he he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Yeah, his first one was like a pile of level 100,000. No way. Cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Beat him up. Brain bread. Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed, he informed Goku, Goku right, away. right away. Goku, who was he eager to help, help his, his friends, friends, then uh, started to, build, to build, build him a, a spaceship. A spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Nemec in just six days. So Dr. After Brief is smarter than Bulma. back up to fighting condition with some Sensu beans, Goku left for planet Nemec. Yes! I'm off! I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Yep. And that's without Kaioken. So if we want to get stronger than Vegeta, we'll probably get to a 30,000. And times 20, which is 600,000. Hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh... Wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Yep. Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Yep. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. A what? Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezes horrible henchmen. Yeah. So, you think there are really some Namekian villages here? Maybe. 
This has a lot of cutscenes, doesn't it? It's too late. You cannot fly off. Right, so I can't fly. Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. Krillin, you're a bit slow, aren't you, mate? I could jump high, car. Huh? I'll take the long way around so I can get all these. I swear we. Shut up. Right, we're here. We need um, Guru to um, unlock our potential. First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We, we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. <gasps> Is that device? That must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. You know, the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. Well, they did require some convincing. Zabom, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! W what do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. Uh, I suppose we have no choice, but promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. No. Take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say, the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! Right! No! Our scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! Oh god, no! Run, Dende! Those monsters! <laughs> it's not much fun killing small fries like you. But, you gotta die sooner or later! Go on, you idiot! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on! Even if you take them together, these guys are way out of our league! Your jets go on! No way! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. yeah. 
Ba! Me a sledge. Ba! Crap, crap. Solar flare. Yeah. Of you? Oh, sorry, I. Yeah, I'm ready, Dad. There we go. We gotta catch them off guard. Yeah. You can run. Alright. Yeah. Are you running about going over and seeing Tamma before uh, the next couple of hours? Alright, stream, I need to end it here. Now's our 